Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video details how to configure the call center feature for forced agent logout or aux work by location or skill. The forced agent logout or aux work by location or skill is a new feature that was introduced in the call center 6.0 release. In short, this feature provides a way to force all agents in a specific location or skill to be logged out or put into aux work mode. This was designed to allow a quick way to log out a specific set of agents or put them into aux work for things like emergency evacuations or staff meetings. To demonstrate how to configure this feature, I have logged into a Communication Manager lab system as an administrative user. This CM system has the Call Center Elite features enabled. The forced logout or aux work feature is controlled by four new feature access codes, or FACs. To modify the new feature access codes, use the Change Feature Access Codes command. Then you would hit Next Page until you reach the second page of the Call Center features. On this system, it is page 6. The four new feature access code fields are listed at the top of the page. By default, no access codes are assigned to the fields, so they are blank. You would need to enter four unused access codes in these fields and then hit Submit to make the change. On this system, star 22 through 25 are unused access codes, so I will configure them for this demo. Each force logout or aux work action has its own reason code for reporting. The reason codes are set using the change system parameters features command. By default, the new reason codes are set to zero. The feature will work with the reason code set to zero, but to report on the use of this feature access codes through call management system or a via IQ, then you would need to change the default reason codes to a unique number. To modify the reason codes, enter the change system parameters features command. Page to the screen that has the section for forced agent logout slash aux parameters. On this system, it is page 15. The last four fields on this page are the new reason codes for this feature. You would replace the default zero with an unused reason code number and then hit the submit key. I'm going to use one, two, three, and four as the reason codes for this demo. There are two new class of restrictions or cores for this feature. These cores are provided to prevent the action from applying to particular agents and for restricting who can execute the FACs. The cores are set using the change core command. For this demo, I'm going to modify core number one. And go to the second page. The last two fields on this page are the cores that apply to this feature. The first new core is labeled, can force a work state change. When this core is set to yes, it will give the station or VDN permissions to force agents to log out or into aux work. If this field is set to no, then any station or VDN with this core will not be able to execute the forced logout or aux work feature access codes. The second new core is labeled work state change can be forced. When set to yes, this core allows an agent to be forced to log out or change to aux work state. When set to no, then any agent login assigned with this class of restriction cannot be forced to log out or into aux work mode. So it is very important that the new cores be set and assigned correctly in order for this feature to work properly. If there are any issues with the use of this feature, first check that these new cores are set correctly and assigned to the necessary agent logins and the supervisor station or VDNs used to execute the feature access codes. This core is currently configured to allow an agent to be forced into logout or aux work state. So you would assign this core to agent logins that can be forced to log out or into aux work. But the can force a work state change is set to no. So this core should not be assigned to any supervisor stations or VDNs that should be allowed to use the new forced logout or aux work feature access codes. 
You would assign Core 1 to an agent on the Agent Login screen. This agent has Core 3 assigned. I will change this to Core 1 to allow this agent to be forced to log out or into AUX work. Now I'm going to display Core 2 and go to the second page. On this system, it shows Core 2 is configured to allow supervisors and VDNs to use the forced agent feature access codes. You would assign Core 2 to a supervisor on the station screen. On the right side of the screen, it shows this station is assigned Core 1. I will change this to Core 2 so that the station can use the feature access codes to force agents to log out or into AUX work. You could also assign Core 2 to any VDNs used to remotely execute the feature access codes. This would be done on the VDN screen. In the middle of the page, it shows Core 4 is assigned to this VDN. I will change the core to 2 so that this VDN has permissions to execute the feature access codes. This concludes the feature configuration demo. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at AvayaMentor.